It's a potential solution to our city's ongoing lifeguard shortage. Leaders in South Brooklyn want lifeguards to no longer be a part of the Parks Department, but instead they want them to be part of the FDNY. Now, if Anna Klieger covers Brooklyn and reports from Coney Island. They respond to waterfront emergencies and receive life-saving training. So why aren't lifeguards considered emergency responders? That's what local activist Craig Hammerman has been wondering this summer. We've thought about the lifeguard positions traditionally as these dead-end jobs, but I think it's time that we re-envision the lifeguard position instead to be a pipeline to a career as a first responder. So he sent a letter to the Independent Budget Office of New York City asking for a study to determine the cost and process involved in transferring the function of lifeguards from one department to another. The fire department has had to put a lot of resources into recruitment in order to diversify their workforce and there's they've been quite successful at it. There are other cities where lifeguards fall under the jurisdiction of the fire department. For example, Los Angeles, where that department says it has a tradition of being one of the best ocean lifeguarding agencies in the world. Councilwoman Ina Vernikoff represents parts of the Brooklyn beachfront. In response to Hammerman's proposal, she sent her own letter of support for the study. I think that with this problem being so pervasive, uh, we should be open to different options. Neither the Parks Department nor FDNY responded to our requests for comment, but the Independent Budget Office replied with a statement that reads in part, transferring lifeguards from Department of Parks and Recreation to the FDNY would face several challenges, particularly concerning existing collective bargaining agreements governing the lifeguard and supervising lifeguard positions. IBO says it hopes to release the findings of its study later this year. In Coney Island, Brooklyn. Hannah Klieger, CBS News, New York. Hannah is a Coney Island native and she lives in Brooklyn and covers the borough for us. You can send her tips or story ideas by emailing the address there on your screen.